hope you guys enjoyed that last recipe that we did. It is a Monday and I'm doing another recipe because of course I did not do one yesterday. This was actually supposed to be the recipe for yesterday. So I'm doing it today you guys and I'm still in a pasta kind of mood. So I think I'm gonna do pasta again this time but healthy pasta version and what I mean by healthy pasta version you guys is using my palmini noodles low carb substitute noodles they do come in this small small pack it's like an angel hair pasta um you literally just rinse them off with warm water dump them out the pot and strain them and they are good to go um the spices that I'm actually using for this recipe is salt, onion powder, black pepper, New Orleans Cajun, garlic powder, some minced garlic, of course, slap your mama, and some regular old McCormick Cajun. Um, this is going to be a shrimp pasta this time. So last time we did chicken and pineapple. This time we are going to do shrimp, spinach, and like a fire roasted tomato in a Parmesan type sauce with these palmini noodles. So I've already put garlic in my skillet and I have the shrimp cooking with, um, the olive oil, the garlic, and the spices, and it's just about done, honestly. That is what they're looking like as of right now. So as soon as these are completely finished, I'm gonna go ahead and take them out and put them to the side. And we are going to start on the sauce. Another reason why I wanted to do this recipe, you guys, is because it's really, really quick. She's so goofy. Aww. Okay, y'all. So the really reason why I'm, ow <laughs> abuse. The reason why I went through this recipe, like I said, you guys, is because it's really, really quick and it's fast. Um, the noodles make it fast, the shrimp make it fast because you know guys know shrimp doesn't cook that long at all. I've literally only hit it in there for about two minutes. And it's almost done. It's almost done. Um, but Honestly, after the shrimp gets done, we are just going to take it out with a, a spoon that has holes in it. So we can keep the original juice from what the shrimp was cooking in, in the skillet. And then we are going to add the ingredients for our sauce that's needed. Um, we're gonna wilt the spinach. I have one bag of spinach. Of course, it'll be enough, even though it's going to condense down to like, this little ball, once it's done, um, we have Parmesan cheese, heavy whipping cream, really is okay. <laughs> heavy whipping cream, and then we have Aww. fire roasted diced tomatoes. I don't know, y'all, I was feeling in the mood for something like really flavorful and kind of on like a Alfredo-ish type route, but not so much the alfredo type route but with some like tomatoes and veggies and this is kind of what i came up with now this sauce i have used on like my um spinach ricola and lobster ravioli and it's freaking amazing so i said why not use it on like a regular type pasta dish with some shrimp so we're going to try this out you guys and see how it tastes so i'm gonna let this shrimp finish cooking and i will be right back all right y'all here we go so now that that is down next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our spinach we're going to whoop the spinach Do that part first. 
factors, of course. It's going to take a little while to get down to where we want it to be. We're still going to have to put in, put back in our shrimp. And we want to make sure we have enough room for that and the Parmesan. It's a whipping cream. Aww. See mommy. Yeah. Oh my God. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I don't even need to eat this with the noodles. I can eat it with just the sauce, the shrimp, and the spinach, and the tomatoes. And I'm telling y'all. Oh my God. Bomb. Let me know if y'all try this recipe. Until next time, guys. See ya. Mommy. Mm -hmm.